what is going on guys clickwood here back again bringing you guys another madden 16 ultimate team video guys what i have for you today is some more leaked information from the frozen gifts collections that are going to be in the game uh guys a lot of you guys have these gifts already in madden ultimate team but uh there's actually a lot of them that are being leaked right now we actually have images of a few of them that i want to share with you guys so if that's something you're not interested in if you want them to be a surprise I'm going to ask you to close this video now because we're actually going to get right into it. I'm not going to mess around. So I'm going to count it down again just like I did the other day. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. So now we're going to take a look at the very first gift, and that is Jared Allen. It's going to be a flashback item. Guys, all of these gifts are coming from our Mutt Mobile information. So, our Madden Mobile, excuse me. I always mix up that. I don't know why it's not called Mutt Mobile, but whatever. Madden Mobile. Um, basically, here's the deal, guys. Jared Allen is a flashback item in this. Now, we don't know 100% for certain that these are the items, but this correlates almost exactly with the previous information that we had. Uh, and these images are being leaked by a pretty quality source, somebody who's been right on just about everything that he has put out this year regarding Madden Ultimate Team and specifically Madden Mobile. So uh, I'm pretty convinced that these are correct, at least for Madden Mobile. Now, the gifts within Madden Mobile don't necessarily correlate with the ones that are in Ultimate Team. However, we have seen a history of pretty much everything that is in Madden Mobile coming over to Madden Ultimate Team eventually. Now, it's not 100% for certain because, again, there are still some cards like Emmett Smith and a couple of others that are in currently um, Madden Mobile that are not in Ultimate Team. But we do expect that those are going to be coming eventually, so that's not that big of a deal. But uh, as far as these go, guys... There, there are, like I said, there's some really good information that we have regarding these. If you actually go over to the Mutthead database, mutthead.com, and then you click on Madden Mobile, you can actually do a player search in the database. So uh, if you type in placeholder player, the words placeholder player, you're going to come across these cards that are currently being leaked into the game. Um, all the cards that are in this video are on that list in some form. They don't have the actual name of the player and the height and the weight isn't correct, but everything else seems to be correct on it. So what it's saying, guys, is that uh, basically we're getting information that uh, Jared Allen is going to be the uh, flashback player. Now, what it looks like is that this is actually going to be frozen gift number five within Madden Mobile. Now, it does, again, that doesn't necessarily correlate to what we see in Madden Ultimate Team, but uh, it's pretty close, I would say. Um, it, it's, it's going to be one of the gifts, okay? Now, there are expected to be more gifts released here in the next day or two, uh, whether it be on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day with, within Madden Ultimate Team. We do expect to see probably at least a handful more of gifts released, if not, maybe even up to a dozen more gifts released. So, um... You know, just keep that in mind, guys, because not all the gifts that are currently in the game are probably going to be the final end-all, be-all gifts. And uh, I think that that has been kind of, uh, you know, kind of speculated by a few people. But uh, we've seen some people within Ultimate Team themselves, Mutt Guru and a few other people, not necessarily come out and say that, but kind of hint at that. So, uh, you know, again... All of the gifts that are currently in the game as of this video being released are not necessarily the final ones. And, and I'm almost for certain, like I said, that they're not because we're seeing all these cards being released, uh, you know, or leaked, I should say, right now, like the Jared Allen that you currently see on your screen. Now, to give you some quick information about this card, um, the, the important stats, Jared Allen is going to be 81 speed, 90 strength, 92 acceleration, 92 awareness. Um, he is going to have some good tackling attributes as well. He's got an 83 tackle, 87 hit power. The big thing is going to be his 96 power move. Uh, so I'm, I'm kind of excited to see that. Um, but uh, yeah, so those are kind of the attributes that we're looking at with the Jared Allen. Very, very good card, but I'm not 100% certain that he's going to be worth the amount of coins that people are going to probably be spending on this gift. Again, he is 94 overall, so he's probably going to be one of the better defensive ends in the game. But uh, if you compare him to the, the current best defensive ends in the game, I don't think he kind of I don't think he matches up very well, to be honest with you. So let's move on to the next one, and that is actually going to be another flashback item. This is Jay Cutler, 94 overall. Uh, and again, just like the Jared Allen, this one's kind of weird because it's showing him as being on the Bears in the database, despite the fact that this card is a Denver Broncos card. It's a 2008 flashback version of Cutler. Um, 
the attributes within this card are pretty much what we would expect them to be of a of a high-end Jay Cutler card. Uh, this is actually, by the way, guys, expected to be Frozen Gift number three. The Jared Allen, I forget if I mentioned this or not, is expected to be Frozen Gift number five within the uh, within the Madden Mobile database. So uh, if you have number five, probably Jared Allen, most likely. Uh, number three, probably Jay Cutler. Just to let you guys know off the top, uh, you know, right off the bat. Now, this Jer uh, Jay Cutler does actually have pretty good attributes here. It sounds like uh, the 80 speed is kind of average, but he's mobile enough to actually be able to move around a little bit. Uh, 85 acceleration is pretty solid for a quarterback as well. His carrying is only going to be a 61, so that's a little bit of a problem. But he does have great throwing attributes. His 97 throw power is immediately going to put him near the top of the list on the an actual uh, Mutt database. So he's going to have some of the best throwing, throwing power currently in the game. Uh, but again, he's also going to have solid throwing accuracy as well better short than deep but uh 92 throw accuracy short 89 throw accuracy mid and then 85 throw accuracy deep so uh pretty solid quarterback card overall but again i'm not 100 certain that he's going to be worth the price of admission to get him uh so my personal opinion is that i would be selling most of these presents right now i think that you're probably going to lose money if you hold on to them and wait until people see these cards come out and then be a little bit disappointed in actually what they are um that's just my personal opinion i could be completely wrong about that but that's just where i currently see things going uh now let's move on to the next ones because these ones i think are even a little bit more interesting so what we've got on the screen now is actually a pretty damn cool card those of you that have played Madden Ultimate Team for a few years now, you probably remember the Campus Hero cards uh, from previous years of Madden. And apparently they're going to be making a return at least to Madden Mobile. I'm, I'm pretty, again, pretty certain that they're going to be in Madden Ultimate Team as well on console. But uh, we are almost 100% sure that they're going to be in Madden Mobile. And this is a CJ Spiller item. Now, again, just like the previous two, we're expecting that this is going to be Frozen Gift number seven, okay? So if you have number seven, you're probably going to be getting the CJ Spiller item. And I think actually, to be honest with you, that this CJ Spiller item might be one of the better running backs in the game right now as far as like elusiveness and everything like that. I'm going to quick run down the attributes for you guys. 95 speed, 97 agility, 96 acceleration. He's also going to have 92 catching. So he's somebody that can go out and play wide for you if you need him to. Uh, go up there and make those catches as well. 93 jumping as well, which is kind of interesting. I, I wasn't expecting that out of him. Uh, 78 trucking, 94 elusiveness, 88 ball carrier vision, 83 stiff arm, 94 spin move, 97 juke move, 90 carrying, 75 route running, which is good for a running back, 77 catch in traffic, 74 spectacular catch, 82 release, uh, and then, you know, everything else beyond that is, is kind of irrelevant for a running back. But uh, CJ Spiller, really, really good item, I think, guys. I, I don't know, again, that you're going to get your money back on this one. My personal opinion is I would probably prefer this one to the Jay Cutler or the Jared Allen, personally. But, uh, you know, to each his own as far as these items go. Uh, but I just want to let you guys know about each of these. So uh, there's the CJ Spiller. Now we're going to move on to the final two. Now, we don't exactly know what's going to happen with these ones. Um, I, I don't know how they're going to be giving these final two out. But what we have here on the screen for you right now is a linebacker version of Steve Atwater. Now, most of you guys know Steve Atwater played safety in the NFL. Um, but this is a linebacker card of his. Very similar attributes to his safety cards as you would expect it to be. Um, but, you know, kind of has great hit power, great tackling, 93 speed, uh, 92 jumping, 78 catching. Good attributes for, for a safety. Uh, but when you put him up in the box, he's an absolute beast as well. He only has 76 strength, so that's a little bit of a concern if he's going to be playing against the run. But again, I, th I still think he's going to be a pretty good card at linebacker. He's going to be a lot of fun to use her. Um, but... The bottom line here, guys, as far as where this one is going to be located, as far as gifts go, is I actually think that this is going to be one of the ones that uh, we don't exactly know what, what it's going to be yet. So, so what's going to happen is like one of the gifts is actually going to be an elite out of position player. So it's going to be a pack that is going to guarantee you an elite out of position player, if that makes sense. So, so that when you open up the gift, it's going to be a pack. 
you open up the pack and it'll be one of these types of cards. There is actually a handful of them uh, that we're expecting. We, we've got uh, these two that I'm going to show you here. There's also Jason Taylor. Uh, I'm trying to remember the others off the top of my head, but uh, wide receiver Deion Sanders is one of them. Uh, but there are a whole bunch of other ones. If you're interested in looking at the list again, uh, go back to my previous video. Otherwise, if you look in the comment section below uh, or in the description of this video below, excuse me, you will see a link to the uh, to the database here. Uh, I'll include that for you guys so you can go on there and check it out yourselves. But um, again, Steve Atwater, out of position player, 91 overall at linebacker. This one could be a lot of fun to use. So I, I'm kind of interested in this one. I, I think I might try and get this one actually because if I could use like a Calvin Johnson and a Julio Jones at safety and then uh, go with a Steve Atwater at linebacker, I think that that could be a hell of a lot of fun. A lot of height, a lot of user potential, and uh, a lot of interceptions coming my way. So the last one, guys, that we have an image for right now is Ronnie Lott. And just like uh, the Steve Atwater item, guys, the Ronnie Lott is an out-of-position item. He played safety in the NFL, but this is going to be a cornerback card. So he's got great attributes for a cornerback as well, to be completely honest with you. Um, he has 92 man coverage, 90 zone coverage, 92 speed. He's also going to be nice and physical for you. He's got great tackling at an 86 and 97 for hit power. So this is very, very similar to the Night Train Lane. Uh, kind of a downgraded version from the Night Train Lane, but still a very, very good cornerback card. Uh, so I'm excited to see what this one will end up going for. I think this is going to be a really good card as well. Uh, should be quite a bit cheaper than most of the other cornerbacks that are really good in the game as well. Uh, so with that being said, guys, those are the ones that have been released. Just like the Steve Atwater, by the way, I expect that this will be part of the pack that they'll give you an elite out of position player guaranteed or something like that. Um, so, or, you know, you might actually just get an out of position pack and it might be a gold that you could pull, but it might also be elite. It's hard to know exactly what is going to be in these presents, but we do know with pretty good certainty that Ronnie Lott is going to be something that you can pull out of these presents in some way, some form. So uh, with that being said, guys, that is the list. Those are the ones that I have seen released. Uh, if you guys have seen any more, do me a favor. Link them in the, in the comment section below. I'm interested in checking out what you guys have for information as well. Thank you guys so much. I hope this helped you out. If it did, do me a favor. Click that like button below. And let me know also in the comment section below, guys. Do you like the gifts that are being leaked right now? Um, I mean, are these exciting cards for you? Are, are you excited for the presents or are you trying to sell right now? Let me know what you're thinking, guys, in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for all the support. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll talk to you again soon.